Hey y'all, welcome to Cooking with Coach Amy. We are about to make another fall recipe. This is gonna be kind of like a snacky snack or a dessert. And it is from, I done forgot, I'm sorry. It's from My Table of Three website. We will be, um, you know, including that in the caption of this video, of course, so you guys can check it out. Um, the name of this is Salted Caramel Pecan Bars, and I'm super excited. And it's using the Lily's Salted Caramel Baking Chips. So I was really excited to find these at my grocery store so that I can make this with y'all. The first thing that I'm gonna get going here is turning the eye on because we're gonna be melting our butter, our sweetener, and our molasses and our vanilla together in this pan. So we're gonna let that get heated up. This is a Trim Healthy Mama S. So this is low carb, higher on the fat. Our fats are gonna be the butter. And um, we also have almond flour and eggs. And um, of course the fats from the chocolate chips and for, from some pecans that we'll be adding in a little bit. The protein that we're gonna have here is going to be a little bit of pristine whey flour, uh, excuse me, pristine whey powder, and also the eggs. And butter does have a little bit of protein too. So we're gonna let this start um, warming up. It's getting there. So we'll go ahead and put the butter in there. Let that start melting. This is Super Sweet from THM. It's a um, half of a cup. I'm rather stuck. I don't think my little container was all the way dry from my dishes being washed. That's all right. And now we'll do the molasses and the vanilla. I think I'm gonna do the vanilla first because the molasses tends to be kind of sticky. Little teaspoon of some vanilla. I use pure vanilla extract. This is just the generic um, Great Value brand from Walmart. That's what I use. Now, molasses, all molasses are not created the same. Um, and we specifically want to use blackstrap molasses here um, with THM because it is what they always use. I don't even know. Like right now, I can't even give you a reason. I'm sure there's a great reason. I think the other, uh, other ones have added sugar and stuff like that. That's probably what it is. Sometimes I don't question things, and then I can't give you guys an answer, but we'll look it up. We'll get that figured out for y'all. But um, this blackstrap molasses, I, I usually get it at Whole Foods, so I don't use it that often. Of course, towards the holidays and fall, I'm using it to make different things. It's really great in um, chocolate chip cookies. I like to use it for that. So we're going to let this, it's already melting really good. I'm just going to start stirring it up. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, so we're going to let that melt. While we're waiting, I want to show you the pan that I'm going to use. Um, I had a pampered chef party a while back, and I got these, um, this silicone bar, bar maker, I don't know. Um, and so it's silicone, so it's oven safe. And I'm going to do some in here, and I'm going to do the rest of them in this brownie pan. That's also a paper shell, happens to be. So we'll see how we like them. This will be kind of a smaller serving um, and we'll see how, how far it goes. I don't know. They may not, may not be able to fill up all of the little spots, but we're going to give it a try. Um, the recipe does ask for you to put it in an 11 by 8 uh, casserole little glass pan. That's what it suggests. Okay, so we've got a few um, little bits here. We're going to let that finish going. Um, now what we're going to do is add in our dry ingredients. I'm going to use the um, part of my Ninja. I call this the batter bowl or some people call it the food processor. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I already have measured out two and a half cups of super fine almond flour. I was very impressed that I already had some of this super fine almond flour. <laughs> you just never know. We're going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to turn the fire down, as my daddy says, just a little. I don't want it to get too brown. That molasses color is throwing me off. I certainly don't want to burn my butter, right? Okay, whey powder. 
it's a third of a cup. And um, also our eggs. Where did they go? There they go. Okay. Always great idea to have a trash bowl, guys. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to give it a little stir. Okay, now my plan here is to put our melted butter, sweetener, vanilla, and molasses in this uh, measuring cup for easy pouring because what we're going to do is pour it through the hole on our Ninja top here. Okay, you make sure which outlet goes with which appliance and we're going to get this out of the way. some room over here right for our blender okay all right let me find my top okay let's double check the instructions okay we're gonna mix this until it's combined so we'll just do it on low That's making a really good dough. Let's hit it one more time. Okay, that's nice and happy. Okay, so now what they want us to do is with the mixer on low, we're gonna slowly drizzle the melted butter until the cookie dough bar comes together. to just rake this in here. I don't think that's going to make or break us. All right. We'll give that a little whirl. All right, let's check out what else we have to do. All right, now we're going to add the pecans and the chips. regretting using my blade. Um, I would say if you're doing this, let's use the black blade instead of the metal blade because this is going to chop up some of this, but it'll be okay. I think it'll still taste just fine. Gives me an excuse to try this recipe again and make more, right? All right. All right let me check that. Okay, that is great and incorporated. Wonderful. I forgot to tell you guys that. This is going to be, y'all, it smells so good. I think I am going to have to give it a little stir once I get the blade out, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Alternative is you could mess up another bowl, and before you add the chips and the pecans, you could take it out. But then you have to wash another dish. I mean, who wants to do that? All right, we gotta get all this goodness off of here, y'all. Oh my gosh. What a delicious recipe this is going to turn out to be. Let's take. 
spiced it a little bit. Mm. Hey, who else is excited that we get to uh, be healthy, lose weight, and eat this yummy stuff? I mean, no brainer for me. It does take a little more effort. Got to have a little bit of special ingredient, that type of thing, but. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I don't know. I'm double check, I'm, I'm double thinking this. I think we're not gonna use that. That's kind of making me nervous. Let's do this, do this one, I'm gonna spray it. I want these to fall out. We'll use the, the bar thing for another, uh, another day. <laughs> okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just fill this thing up. There we go. What a decadent dessert. You can see how the batter is thick. It's gonna be such a great treat, like a, a little cookie bar. Going in great. Oop, that's a little much. So you probably could do this. Um, it wouldn't be as caramel-y, you know, because you wouldn't have the caramel chips, but you might could even do half of the caramel chips, pumpkins, half up pumpkin spice, or half um, caramel and half just the regular chocolate. That would be fun too. I'm always excited to change things up. It didn't scare me any. All right, that's a little too much on that one, y'all. We are gonna get this ready, get this in the oven. My house is gonna be smelling so good. All right, we're almost there. Okay, y'all, we're gonna get this in the oven and when I pull it out, I'm gonna let you guys see it. I'll see you in a minute. Hey, y'all, welcome back. So we've got the bars out of the oven and I wanted to show you how easy they came out. Just perfect. Like I could turn this over and they would just fall out. Amazing. So I hope that encourages you to um, do this recipe because sometimes we worry about baking these THM things because it's going to crumble or it's all going to stick to the pan, which does still happen to me sometimes, not going to lie. But we've already kind of tasted this, as you can see here, and they are so good. Aren't they good? Even Bella, she got them out for me and I was like, I want to taste them with you guys. She goes, I already did. They taste good. I was like, yes. So we've got a plate of them real pretty right here, but we're just going to pass this. These are all my girls and everybody get a little bit. It is kind of crumbly, as you can see, but mm -hmm. it's still, oh my God. It's so good. <laughs> oh, Henry, Henry, I don't think you need this. It's mm. really good. You like it? So these are my daughters. Bella's the oldest, she's 15. Lily's next, she's 13. Katie's next, she's 11. And then the silly boys, they're six and four. They're with their daddy today doing manly hunting things. So, our review of the uh, these, what are they called? Um, salted, caramel. salted caramel pumpkin bars? Pecan. Pecan? pecan. Not pumpkin, they're pecan. <laughs> <laughs> we did pumpkin earlier too. Anyway, we will definitely have all that info for you guys in the caption. So good. I did bake for less time. I did 15 minutes. And then I think I added two minutes. So 17 total is what I did um, because we weren't baking a whole pan. We did individual, you know, that kind of thing. So anyway, let us know if you make this. Thanks for watching and happy fall, y'all. Y'all tell them bye. Bye.